I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com, here to preview Saturday night's match between FC Dallas and the New England Revolution. Let's take a look at the Subaru keys to the game. In the last game for the New England Revolution, it was a 1-0 home loss to the LA Galaxy. Head coach Steve Nichol rolled out a 4-5-1 formation, four at the back, five across midfield for the Revs. North Texas native Stephen McCarthy makes a return home in the center of midfield for the Revolution. Benny Failhaber picked up an injury at the end of the match and will be unavailable. With the injuries at the moment, Shalry Joseph declined a call up for the Granada national team for Gold Cup duty. For FC Dallas, it was a 4-4-2 for head coach Shellis Hyman in that 2-2 road draw at Robertson Stadium against the Houston Dynamo. Rookie Bobby Warshaw made his first start in an FC Dallas jersey, partnered in the center of defense with Ugo Ehemelu, who scored his second goal of the season. But the man that got things started was Andrew Jacobson, who scored his first Major League Soccer goal. The first key to the game on Saturday night will be possession. On a hot and humid night at Pizza Hut Park, keeping the ball will be at a premium. Most recently for the Revolution against the Galaxy, you'll see in this clip here that the Revolution are trying to work hard to win the ball back. It's a hopeful diagonal ball from the Galaxy that unbalances the Revolution midfield. New England is caught out of shape and the Galaxy are looking to get players forward. In the end, precision is lacking. However, this is an attacking sequence that shows that good possession can perhaps unbalance the Revolution midfield. We spoke to FC Dallas midfielder Andrew Jacobson about keeping possession. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely important. You know, when you have the ball and you're possessing the ball, you know, running seems easier. It lets you pick teams apart a lot more. So, I mean, it's definitely really important. The second key to the game is to be prepared for the New England counterattack. The Revolution five-man midfield works tirelessly to win the ball back when they don't have it. In this clip against the Galaxy, you'll see the Revolution doing exactly that. This time they've won possession, and the man that is providing width out wide is Kevin Alston, the right defender. It's a ball over the top from Alston. It's hopeful and looking for Lekic, but Donovan Ricketts intervenes. The ball is kept in play until it finds the feet of Shalry Joseph, whose effort is powerful but off target. LA eventually got numbers back to defend, but New England had two half chances from the counterattack. The third key to the game is wide service. FC Dallas has enjoyed good wide play over the last several games, and that could perhaps be a factor against the Revolution. Most recently, it was the Galaxy that you'll see in this clip here that begins a sequence that leads to the game's only goal. David Beckham was the man that got things started with a long diagonal ball for Landon Donovan. LA is getting numbers forward. It's Franklin that keeps the ball alive until he pulls it back for Beckham. And watch the run of Landon Donovan, who's joining two other Galaxy attackers. Miguel Lopez gets his head to the ball, and in the end, it's the game's only goal that gave the victory to the LA Galaxy. Saturday is a great day to come out to Pizza Hut Park. It's a full day of soccer. Gates will open at 3 p.m. for the USA-Spain friendly match that kicks off at 3.30, followed by FC Dallas against the New England Revolution that kicks off at 7.30 that night. If you're not already out here, make sure you set your DVR for TXA 21, or for our Spanish listeners, tune into 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. FC Dallas is unbeaten in their last eight games. They'll look to continue their fine form on Saturday night against the Revolution. For FCDallas.com, I'm Bobby Ryan.